Assalamualaikum guys, Afan back again with another video. And in this video, what we are going to be looking at is how to create a pivot table for multiple workbooks. Now, this uh, this sheet that I have, workbook I have on the screen right now, this is a previous example in which we uh, used different sheets in the same workbook to create a pivot table, and that's the pivot table that we had created and this was coming from uh, the customer sheet the sales sheet and the salesperson sheet and uh, the data table is the same table that we had used uh, in the uh, pivot tables and dashboard uh, video and we had used to create this uh, dashboard so uh, in this example the you know the previous example that we had done we had created a pivot table from multiple sheets so we had a sheet called customer orders we had a sheet called sales and a sheet called salesperson and the pivot we what we did was we had data coming in or being pulled in from uh, these three sheets now in this uh, video what we are going to be doing is we are going to be having data that will be coming in from multiple workbooks all right so uh, let's get started i'm going to go ahead and close this sheet also just get it out of the way all right, now, there are a couple of things that we have to do. Uh, uh, let me just write it down here. So we'll have, uh, oops, uh, multiple workbooks, okay? And uh, what we're doing is we're creating a pivot table on these multiple workbooks, okay? Now, in order to do that, what we have, what I have gone ahead and done is, I have uh, created two uh, two files already. Okay, and these are the two files that will be two workbooks that will be combined to make one pivot table. Okay, so uh, basically these two are the same data that we had uh, in. Let me just pull that up, open that up for you. Just give me a minute. It's the same uh, worksheet. Uh, what I've done is I have taken the first 20 or so entries into one file and uh, the, the balance of the entries into the second file. So uh, let me just show you uh, book one. Okay. Now this is giving me this message is because what I've done is when I separate those two i save them as uh, comma limited csv format okay so it's just telling me that any formatting that i do i will lose that formatting so uh, we can just ignore that so what i did was uh, i've got first 20 lines in the book one okay and uh, in book two we should have about 21 22 another more entries okay this and so we have 21 so basically we had 41 entries total and let's just confirm that uh, real quick um, okay so we've got 41 entries so then like i said what i did was i split it into two files now what we want to do is we want to uh, um, have the, the data being pulled uh, from both the files and then uh, one pivot table needs to be created. So the technique we are going to do is we are going to be combining those files, those two workbooks into one workbook and then create a pivot table of that newly, uh, new, the new, new table that we have. Now, you could have more data coming in, more number of files uh, in the, over here. So you've got book one, book two, book three. So every time you have another book coming in, you don't want to be copying and pasting into the master file and then updating the pivot. Uh, there needs to be a better way and there is a better way. And that is using a tool called the Power Query. And so let's get started. Now uh, in, um, Microsoft Excel 365, it is under the data tab. 
uh, in the older versions, it is there'll be a separate tab called Power Query. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the, click on the uh, get data from file, and then within that the subfolder is called sub uh, from folder. Okay, and just gonna give me a minute for it to get ready. There you go. Now it's asking the for the uh, folder path. So click on browse. <coughs> And uh, right here, click on OK. Now these are the two files, the book one CSV and the book two CSV. Okay. So combine and load. And Now this is actually, it is combining those two files together and click on OK. There you go. So now we have this table here. I'm just going to go ahead and close this. I don't need this anymore. Uh, the first column tells you the source name, which file it is coming from. So 20, I think uh, was from uh, uh, book one. Yeah, and 21 was from uh, book 2. Correct. And now you see how both of them got combined into one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do a pivot table. New sheet. Okay. And let's have products and revenue. Let's do that. So we have products and we have revenue. Okay. And we have, uh, let's see, we could have number of customers. Okay. So French fries was ordered by 11 customers. Total revenue was um, 5.7 million. Pizza was ordered by 11 uh, uh, restaurants at a cost of 7.6 million. And tomato ketchup, 18 restaurants, 8.26 uh, million. Okay, now that's all fair, uh, nice and good. Uh, I just said that uh, the reason why we are going to be using the Power Query is because we do not want to be uh, copying and pasting files as we get more files in to consolidate all of them into one file. So how do we automate this task? Okay, so let's see. Uh, I'm just going to copy this uh, book one and paste it. So now I've got book one copy. Okay, now uh, this is just to sh uh, show you as an example. Now what would have happened if we had just copied and pasted would have, uh, I would have had to uh, go into the new file that we have created, the combined file, open this file, copy all this, uh, all the data from here, paste it there. And I would have to do every time a new file comes in. Now with Power Query, it is automatic, okay? So let's uh, go back to the Power Query sheet, okay? Now here, I just do a right click and refresh. And if you see, now, the, the number of counts has changed, okay? Now, if I go into the, the pivot table and I refresh the pivot table, see how it's changed? So basically what's happening is, every time you uh, put another file in, uh, in this folder here, where you know, which you define in the Power Query, the folder path, every time you put a new fo uh, folder in, it's, and you refresh the, qu the query, is going to go and grab all the data from there, bring it in and, you know, append it below the, the last line. Now, the only thing to watch out for is uh, all these files need to have the same structure. So basically, if you, uh, I'm just going to open up uh, book one. I'm just going to cancel this. See, customer, products, order, date, revenue, cost of goods. So see, these head this order that has to be consistent throughout. OK, 
Okay. Now, if I were to, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this into another file. So this is coming from uh, book one. Okay. I'm just going to write here. Book one. And I'll go back here and I'll open up book two. <coughs> Excuse me. Cancel this. Just resize the columns. And I'll just uh, grab the headers. And I'll paste it down here. And this is coming from book two. So you see they're exactly identical. So that's the only thing you need to watch out for. Uh, the, the structure of the files need to be consistent. They have to have the same structure. Okay. Now, um, if I were to um, make a copy of book two, paste it here, and I'm going to go ahead and open this. Okay. Now, let me sh uh, actually show you that this data does get updated. Um, let's see. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this last line here. I'm just going to go ahead and put my own name down here. And show um, Madison Square, that's fine. I'm just going to copy this. So basically what I've done is I've created another entry with my name on it. And let's save this and close. We'll close this too. I don't need to save this. These are the book one, book twos. Because I resized the, the columns, it's asking me if I want to save it. Now, if I were to go back to the, the query page, right, you know, how, where the uh, Power Query created this table, and I do a refresh on it, okay, so now th there should be an entry with my name in it somewhere here. Hang on a second. Okay, so mm, that didn't work. Hold on. Did I not save this? Oh, let's give a minute here. Okay, salesperson. There you go. Just having a little difficulty uh, finding it. So it's, it's there. So, so you see how uh, that data also got uh, uh, added in. Okay. So where is it found here? There you go. Okay. So, uh, and it's saying that it's coming from the book two copy. All right. Now, if I were to uh, refresh this uh, pivot table, it will give me that. And this is, uh, this column is the salesperson column. So let's grab that also in the pivot. There you go. You see, we've got it from. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this file. I'll save it. I'll go back here. I'll make another copy of this. Let's open this. And... Um, What I'll do is I will create a, I'll copy this last row, enter. And this time the salesperson was Bill Gates. Okay. And I'm going to save this, quit out of this. And I'll refresh the Power Query. And there's your Bill Gates here. I'll refresh the uh, pivot table. Comes here. Okay. Now, let's see if we can further automate this. Okay. So we go to developer, Visual Basic. Okay. And worksheet. I'm just going to write this one uh, line of code. In the Visual Basic, this workbook refresh all, and I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and put it here as well.
Okay. So if, if you notice when I click anywhere, uh, the cursor just blinks for a bit. Basically what it's doing is it's updating this sheet. Okay. Um, now, in fact, this workbook. Now let me go back and open this. And instead of Bill Gates, let me change that to Elon Musk. Okay. And let's save this. Close. Now, if I click here, it's not going to change over here. Okay. Reason being, this sheet hasn't been updated yet. Now, when I click here, now this is updated. Now, if I go back, now it will change. Right? So, what we have done is we have automated the process of uh, grabbing the data also. Uh, well, the, the, the process of grabbing the data uh, is updated by the Power Query. But what we have done is we have automated the process of uh, updating the Power Query and the process of update, automating the process of updating the pivot table as well. So now basically what we're doing is this pivot table is coming up from five different files. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. The data is coming from these five different files. Right. Uh, so that's how you would uh, use uh, Power Query uh, to create a pivot table that's grabbing its data from different workbooks. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you did, uh, please kindly give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe and make sure you hit the bell icon so you will always get uh, notifications when uh, new videos are uploaded. And what I'll also do is I'll uh, try and put the links to the, uh, uh, the the video that showed how to do a pivot table for different sheets in the, in the same workbook as well. All right. Thank you very much.